Hey, you got time for a beer? I know I do. Welcome to my show. My name's Jake. It's not Thursday, but I do have a new beer here for you. Don't forget, you can find me at tubajake underscore 69 on untapped YouTube and Twitter, and then on Instagram at tubajake underscore. Please tell me your stories. I like to hear them. Hopefully you like to hear stories too, because um, I tell stories. It's what I do. It's super fun. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe so that other people get to hear this. So anyway, I've got Rubicon by Old Nation Brewing Company there out of Williamson. It's a 4.8% Italian style Pilsner. Oh, 20 IBUs. Should be pretty good. Great way to start off a day of drinking. So anyway, let's get this guy going. Got all my Old Nation stuff on. I'm uh, planning on going to the World Expo of Beer today up in Frankenmuth. It's, I haven't been in years, uh, but it's usually a really good time. Um, so, Italian style Pilsner, generally crispy. It's kind of what I'm expecting. Uh, light, 4.8% alcohol by volume, so it will be. Um, light in color. Light in just about every other way, but this one's a little bit heavier than what I was expecting it to be, which is fine. I mean, it'll still be delicious. There's a lot ahead on this. It's probably my own fault. Let's be real. <sighs> hmm. So... It's not exactly what I was expecting it to be, to be honest. Um, I was expecting something a little bit less hoppy. This one's hoppy, like super hoppy. Not that I'm complaining. It's good that way. Uh, don't fall over. Just right. All right. Yeah, good amount of hoppy. Um, it is, it's a good way to start a day of drinking. Um, the taste is good. Uh, the malt takes a back seat to the hops, which is nice. Um, also kind of strange because it's only 20 IBU, which the International Bittering Unit are, they're, I don't know, it's a scientific measurement that's difficult to explain just by taste. But say something like a 120 minute dogfish head that's got a lot more IBUs than 20. Um, I should probably look to see. I think I've got one in my fridge right behind me. Uh, if I remember correctly, though, lots more. Like, twice as much, almost. But just the right amount of hops to the, the amount of malt that's in here makes it taste real good. Um, it's light, so it's kind of thirst. It's dry, too, which... Kind of thirst quenching, kind of makes you want to have another drink, which is perfect for what these are. Does this remind me of a beer? Um, I'd like to say like Budweiser, but Budweiser is a lot, it's a lot less hoppy and a lot more, um, and a lot more malty than this guy here. Um, Maybe a Pilsner or Kell. It's been a long time since I've had one, but I remember that being a little bit more hop forward. It's been a long time, but I do have a Pilsner or Kell glass that my, my sister got me from the Czech Republic when she went to study abroad there, which was kind of neat uh, for her. But for me, it's a very cool glass. And she was like, yeah, we got these at the, the beer garden, like just local. Not that she took them. I mean, she did, but she actually paid for them, which was nice of her. Um, a story that this reminds me of. I mean, all of the beers that taste like this, to me, remind me of going different places and doing different things. It kind of reminds me a little bit of tubing, which tubing is super fun if you've never been. Uh, I'm talking about, like, 
floating down a river. Some people call it floating, which is fine. You float down a river in a in a in an inner tube, um, and it's super fun. You're gonna need at least two inner tubes because you need to have one for the beer and then one for yourself. And then everybody else gets one because you've already got one for the beer. So that's helpful, I guess, right? Um, but I think really what this reminds me of most, which is strange because I don't know that I really actually, I didn't drink around the world when I went to Epcot with my, with my family last, but I did do some drinking around Epcot when I went with my family last. Um, I remember for sure having a, uh, a frozen beer in in uh, Japan, which pretty much tasted like this, but it was frozen. It was thirst quenching and cooling, which was nice because it was August in Orlando. And then wine and cheese in, I think we were still at the same spot, but like Italy and Germany were right in there together for their wine pairings, which was good. And that was hanging out with my, my brother-in-law and my sister. This was before children for them. So, you know, carefree. Oh, also this is very carbonated, which is nice, but it's gonna make you burp a lot. Um, trying to think of other places that I actually had a drink. I do remember that I was not feeling very well at that point in time. Like I had a, I had a solid runny nose because you know, that happens when you're, you work super hard because I was probably on for 10 days before I went on that vacation, when we went on that vacation and then had the 10 days off and then was probably getting ready to go for another 10 days. I do know that I took, that I didn't, well, I did go to the parks, but it was to eat. And then I came home and went to bed instead of going to Magic Kingdom for the day, which kind of sad. I think I did ride pirates that day because I was like, I want to ride pirates, but that's all I have to do while I'm here. And I've got other stuff going on and I want to feel better so that I can do the other stuff that I want to do tomorrow. So I did. Actually, I think that, that was before that I got sick. No, I, I got sick after, like I was not feeling well the day that we went to Universal and then everybody else went and, and hung out with uh, with the guy that we know that's down there with Puba and they all had a really good time, but I had to go, or I wanted to go, was going to go to the Keys of the Kingdom tour with my dad. So we got to go like under, under the Magic Kingdom and around and see different stuff about, um, I think we went to Haunted Mansion and saw stuff there, uh, backstages at different places. It was really, really fun. Lots, very informative, whole bunches of interesting things. Um, and then the day after that, I decided that I was really sick and couldn't do a day in the park. So I didn't, I stayed, I stayed, well, I went and got food And then I stayed in the hotel room after that. Rode back by myself. Super sad, right? But it was... It was still a great vacation. Never said that you go to Disney World. Never. As far as I know. I'm sure there's somebody that's had a bad time at Disney World. I just don't know. Well, I mean, I know how you could do that, but I don't know. I don't want to think about that. I mean, the rest of it was probably good right up until it was not. <sighs> but yeah, this kind of reminds me of, uh, of drinking around the world.
Good. Real good. All right, so I've got a quote for you. This one is from Tina Fey, um, star of Screen and Screen. She's done some movies and then, you know, Saturday Night Live. She said, whatever the problem, be part of the solution. Don't just sit around raising questions and pointing out obstacles. So I, if you've got a problem, have a solution ready to go when you bring it to whomever it is that's going to be able to fix it. Ask for help. Don't, don't complain about it. It makes life go so much smoother, so much smoother when you can figure out your own problems or figure out other people's problems too. Anyway, don't forget, you can find me at tubajake underscore 69 on untapped YouTube and Twitter and on Instagram at tubajake underscore. Don't forget, I like to hear your stories too. So tell me your stories. Um, I'll tell you mine. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe so that everybody else gets to hear this because when you like, comment, and subscribe, then more people get to see it. I think that's all I've got. I'll see you next time when you got time for a beer.